Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to talk a little bit today about the uh, U.S. pullout out of Syria, okay, and uh, you know us abandoning the Kurds. Now, I did a prior video on this, and uh, you know I, I said that you know we're pretty much on the brink of a civil war right here in the United States, so we're in no position really to help anybody else. Okay, so in this video, I want to look at it from a different perspective. I want to look at it. Uh, from the perspective of what is in the best interest of the Kurds, okay, what's going to be better for them uh, in the long run. Now, the historic situation over there is that you got two juggernauts. You got Turkey, okay, you know, uh, who in the past were known as the Ottomans, okay. You got Turkey, and then you got Russia, okay. And these two guys, uh, they are historic enemies. Okay, they've been fighting for for many centuries. The you know, the, you know, basically, we can kind of thank Russia for. The Ottomans not expanding into uh, uh, into Europe, you know, a couple hundred years ago. Um, they, the, the Russians actually played a key role with getting the Turks out of Greece and, 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 and liberating Greece. Um, so, so you know, but staying on topic, the, the Turks and the Russians are are historic enemies. Okay, and everybody else in that area is kind of like a proxy for these two. Okay, because there's lots of other groups that you know. You know, fighting each other and sometimes fighting the Turks, sometimes fighting the Russians. Um, but those are the two main players. You got the, the Turks and the Russians. Okay. Um, so with us being there, right, and trying to help the Kurds, um, what we kind of did is we kind of got between the Kurds and their natural allies, which is the Russians. Okay. Because you know, if we if we were not there, basically the Kurds would go to the you know if, if, if the if the uh, the Turks are trying to kill Kurds, right? The natural thing for the Kurds to do would, would be to go to their, the enemies of the Turks. So they would go to the to the Russians as they've done in the past. Um, so with us being there, with the United States being in that in, in that immediate area, um, we're giving the Kurds some alternative. We're basically now we're giving them an alternative. We're really giving them a false hope. Um, that's kind of pulling them away from their natural allies, which is the Russians, okay? Um, and the similar situation would be like, like you got the United States and you got Cuba, okay? Uh, and then you got, you know, back in the 60s, you had the Russians trying to be the allies of the Cube, of the Cubans, right? Now, Russia's obviously on the other side of the world. You know, there's a limit to how good of an ally the Russians could have been to, the, to, to, to Cuba, right? Or to the communist regime in Cuba, because Cuba is so close to the United States. So the same exact situation, um, you know, I see now in Syria. Okay, you got you got the Kurds and you got their immediate neighbors, the Russians. Okay, um, and they the two of them have as an enemy the the Turks. Um, so it, the natural thing for them to do is for the Kurds to ally with the Russians. Um, you know, to, to, to defend against the, uh, you know, the Kurds at line with the, with the Russians to defend against, uh, you know, the Ottomans or the Turks or whatever you want to call them. Um, that's the natural situation. And by us being there, we're interfering with that natural relationship, okay? So I have a feeling that as soon as we pull out, right, as, we, as soon as we get out of there, the Kurds are going to go running back to the Russians um, and, you know, sort of the natural balance will be restored, okay? Um, it's almost like a situation where you have um, a husband and a wife kind of, you know, fighting. And then you've got, like, the wife's boyfriend, right, trying to be helpful in some way, okay? Uh, you know, the wife's boyfriend needs to get out of the way and completely disappear so that the husband and wife, so the husband and wife can kind of fix things, okay? As long as you have wife's boyfriend anywhere near trying to, you know, you know, basically that's an interference, okay? So, so, so. The third party needs to leave and get away. So that's the situation that I see now with the with the with the with the Russians and the Kurds. You know, we need to get out of there so that the Kurds will go back to their natural alliance with the Russians, and together, um, you know, they can defend against the uh, you know against defend against Turkey. Okay, so my my thoughts on that, and, and that's why I think that that this is actually in the best interest of the Kurds. Okay, um, you know. Uh, you know, you know, Russia is in a position to actually help carve out um, a a Kurdish state, okay, out of Syria, okay, and for it to and, and defend it, okay, because if because um, that's that's what really needs to happen. The Kurds are a separate people, um, you know, they have a different culture, 
okay you know you know there needs to be a Kurdish state where, where they can basically live together and, and do their own thing and worship the way they want to worship and, uh, and that sort of thing now if the United States was the one to set this up right if the United States was the one trying to set up this Kurdish state okay um, you know the obviously the, the the Turks would hate it and the Russians would also resent it because we're the ones that are uh, imposing it okay same exact idea if it comes from the Russians you know now this is a workable idea this is now a, a an idea that the, that, 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 the, that the Russians who are right there um, are going to basically enforce so it, it makes all the sense in the world for us to get out of the way let the the, the, the Kurds um, you know ally themselves with the Russians uh, and, and 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 together they can they can defend themselves against the uh, the Turks so my thoughts on that uh, and like I said this is looking at it solely from the perspective of what is in the best interest of the of the Kurds okay um, you know not what's in the best interest of the United States or what's in the best interest of NATO or, or anybody else it is in the best interest of the Kurds to ally themselves with the Russians okay and together you know defend against the uh, you know against the Ottomans so uh, thanks for watching if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up share it and if you're not been my channel subscribe I'll see you guys next time